Level 0. The Harmless Hitchhikers Not all viruses are dangerous. In fact, some are so quiet. We don't even know they're there. Inside your DNA, there are remnants of ancient viruses. Ghosts from millions of years ago. They're called endogenous retroviruses. These are genetic hitchhikers. Fragments of viral code that, at some point in evolutionary history, infected our ancestors. And instead of being destroyed, they were absorbed into our DNA. Now, they're part of us. They don't replicate. They don't cause disease. Passengers. Some scientists even believe they once helped us evolve. They may play roles in brain development, pregnancy, even immunity. But not all stowaways are so polite. Let's go one level higher. Level 1. The Common Cold It's the most familiar virus in the world. And yet, we've never truly conquered it. Runny nose, sore throat, sneezing fits, mild fever. Annoying, yes. Deadly? Rarely. But don't underestimate it. More than 200 viruses can cause cold symptoms. Rhinoviruses are the main culprits. But adenoviruses, coronaviruses, and even respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, join the party. Every year they infect billions of people. There's no lasting immunity because they mutate constantly. That's why you keep getting colds again and again. And while most recover quickly, for infants, the elderly, or the immunocompromised, even a cold can be dangerous. These viruses are masters of disguise, invisible shapeshifters, always one step ahead of our defenses. Level 2. Seasonal Influenza Now the stakes begin to rise. Flu season. It hits every year, and every year it takes lives. Unlike the common cold, influenza can turn severe, fast, high fever, severe fatigue, muscle pain, dry cough. Influenza A and influenza B are the most common culprits. They spread through coughs, sneezes, and contaminated surfaces. In healthy individuals, it can still be brutal. But in vulnerable populations, it's a killer. The seasonal flu kills between 290,000 and 650,000 people every single year, mostly elderly and very young patients, but also sometimes healthy adults with no warning. And here's the scary part. Influenza viruses mutate constantly. That's why the flu shot changes every year. And sometimes the virus mutates into something truly monstrous. In 1918, a mutated flu strain sparked the Spanish flu pandemic. It infected a third of the world's population and killed an estimated 50 million people, more than both world wars. Level 3. Norovirus If influenza kills with fever, norovirus kills with chaos. It strikes fast, and it spreads even faster. Just one infected person can contaminate an entire cruise ship, or a school, or a hospital. The symptoms, projectile vomiting, severe diarrhea, cramping, nausea. It's sometimes called the winter vomiting bug. Most people recover in a day or two, but the real danger is dehydration. In children, the elderly, Norovirus can be lethal, especially in areas with limited access to clean water or medical care. It causes around 200,000 deaths annually, mostly in the developing world. There is no vaccine, no specific treatment, just supportive care and time. And it only takes a few viral particles to infect someone. That's right! Even a microscopic smear on a door handle could be enough. Level 4. Dengue Virus Now we enter the tropics, 
and things get even deadlier. Dengue virus is spread by mosquitoes. It thrives in warm, wet regions, and its reach is growing as global temperatures rise. There are four types of dengue virus. Infection with one gives you immunity to that type, but not the others. In fact, being infected with a second type can cause a deadly overreaction. Your immune system goes haywire. Instead of protecting you, it turns on you. Symptoms include high fever, rashes, headaches, and excruciating muscle and joint pain. They don't call it breakbone fever for nothing. But in severe cases, it escalates to dengue hemorrhagic fever. That means internal bleeding, leaky blood vessels, organ failure, and death. Dengue causes about 20,000 deaths per year, but it also affects hundreds of millions annually. Level 5, HIV, the slow killer. This is the virus that changed the world. It doesn't kill you directly. It lets everything else do the job. HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, targets your immune system. Specifically, it destroys CD4 T cells, the generals of your body's defense forces. As they die off, your immune system collapses. And when it drops low enough, you enter the final stage, AIDS. At this point, even a cold can be lethal. Opportunistic infections, things that wouldn't affect a healthy person, begin to take over. From the early 1980s through today, HIV has killed over 40 million people. That's nearly the population of Canada. At its peak, it devastated entire countries. But science fought back. Today, Antiretroviral therapy can suppress the virus, turn a death sentence into a manageable condition. People with HIV can now live long, healthy lives. But the fight isn't over. HIV still infects over a million people each year, and there is still no cure. The war continues. Quiet. Level 6. Hantavirus. You won't see it coming. No coughs no sneezes, just dust. Hantavirus is carried by rodents, especially deer mice. It's shed in their urine, saliva, and droppings. And if you breathe in tiny particles of dried feces or urine, the virus enters your lungs. At first, it feels like the flu, fever, fatigue, muscle aches. But within days, it escalates to hantavirus pulmonary syndrome. Your lungs begin to fill with fluid. Breathing becomes a struggle. Your blood pressure collapses. There's no cure, no vaccine, and the fatality rate, 30 to 50%. Level seven, Nipa virus. Imagine a virus with a 70% fatality rate. And now imagine it can infect your brain. Nipah virus is another zoonotic killer, spread from bats, pigs, or contaminated food. It was first identified in Malaysia in 1998, but it's appeared in Bangladesh, India, and Southeast Asia. Symptoms include fever, vomiting, and intense respiratory distress. But what makes Nipah terrifying is that it can cause severe brain inflammation called encephalitis. Victims may fall into a coma within days, and if they survive, many are left with permanent neurological damage. Even worse, Nipah can spread between humans through saliva, urine, and close contact. In some outbreaks, the fatality rate has reached 75%. The virus is on the World Health Organization's list of top priority pathogens viruses most likely to cause the next pandemic. Level 8, Marburg virus, if you've never heard of it. Count yourself lucky. Marburg virus is a close cousin of Ebola and just as deadly. 
It causes viral hemorrhagic fever, a condition where the body begins to break down from the inside. High fever, vomiting, rashes, bleeding from the eyes, nose, and internal organs. It begins with flu-like symptoms, but quickly your body goes into shock. Your blood vessels leak, organs fail. The mortality rate ranges from 25% to over 80%, depending on the outbreak and access to care. The virus spreads through contact with bodily fluids. Healthcare workers are especially at risk. Protective gear is essential. There is no vaccine, no proven treatment, just barrier protection and damage control. Level 9. Ebola virus. You knew this one was coming. Ebola is one of the most feared viruses on the planet, and for good reason. Like Marburg, it causes viral hemorrhagic fever. But Ebola gained global attention during its explosive outbreaks in West Africa. Symptoms start with high fever, sore throat, and fatigue. But then come the vomiting, the diarrhea, the internal bleeding, and sometimes bleeding from the skin and eyes. The virus destroys the immune system, liver, and vascular system. The body loses the ability to regulate itself. It breaks down. Ebola is highly contagious through blood, vomit, sweat, and other fluids. It can linger on surfaces. It can survive in the bodies of recovered patients for months. During the 2014 to 2016 West Africa outbreak, over 11,000 people died. In some outbreaks, the fatality rate approached 90%. Experimental vaccines now exist, and supportive treatments have improved, but the virus hasn't gone away. It's still out there, hiding in animal reservoirs, waiting. Level 10, Robies. This might be the deadliest virus known to humanity, not in body count, but in certainty. Rabies is almost always fatal once symptoms appear. The fatality rate? Over 99.9%. It starts with an animal bite, most commonly from a dog or bat. At first, the virus travels quietly through the nervous system. No symptoms. But then, weeks or months later, the storm begins. Fever headache, confusion, anxiety, then hallucinations, and the most iconic and horrifying symptom, hydrophobia. Victims develop a fear of water. They panic at the sight of it. Even swallowing becomes agonizing. Once neurological symptoms begin, it's too late. There is no cure. Only a few people in history have survived symptomatic rabies, and only with experimental intensive treatment. But here's the good news. Rabies is 100% preventable. If you're bitten by a potentially rabid animal, immediate vaccination can save your life. Timing is everything. Level 11, the engineered virus. We've explored the natural world's most dangerous viruses, but what if we made one ourselves? This is the ultimate fear. A bioengineered virus, designed not by evolution, but by intention. In the wrong hands, synthetic biology could be used to recreate deadly viruses or make them worse. Imagine a virus as contagious as measles, but as lethal as Ebola, one that hides in the body, or one that targets specific populations. In 2002, Researchers created a synthetic version of poliovirus from scratch, using only its genetic sequence. In 2011, scientists modified H5N1 bird flu to make it airborne in mammals. The knowledge exists. Technology exists. The threat is real. Bioterrorism. Accidental release. Weaponized pandemics. It's the nightmare scenario. A virus with no precedent, no immunity, no defense, 
Level 12, SARS-CoV-2, the global lockdown. It started with a cough. In late 2019, a cluster of pneumonia cases was reported in Wuhan, China. The cause? A novel coronavirus, one never before seen in humans. Within months, it had become a global pandemic. Borders closed, airports emptied, cities went silent. Billions of people were confined to their homes. Hospitals overflowed. Supply chains broke. The virus spread with terrifying efficiency. Airborne droplets, surfaces, asymptomatic carriers. Some infected people barely noticed. Others ended up in intensive care, hooked to ventilators, fighting for every breath. It caused COVID-19 a disease that could range from mild symptoms to multi-organ failure. As of now, it's caused over 7 million confirmed deaths worldwide. New variants emerged, Alpha, Delta, Omicron. The real toll may be much higher. The virus mutated, each more transmissible than the last. Vaccines were developed at unprecedented speed, and they've saved millions of lives. But SARS-CoV-2 reminded us of something brutal. A virus doesn't care who you are, how wealthy you are, what country you live in. It only cares about one thing. Replication. Level 13. The next unknown pandemic. Disease X. The World Health Organization has a name for it. Disease X. It's not a specific virus. Not yet. It's a placeholder. For the next unknown pandemic, we don't know what it will be. We don't know when. We don't know where. It could come from a rainforest, a wet market, a laboratory, or a melting glacier. What we do know is that it's likely coming. Viruses jump species all the time. Zoonotic spillover is how SARS, MERS, Ebola, and COVID-19 all began. And as humans expand into wild habitats, our chances of contact increase. One random mutation, one infected animal, one global flight, that's all it takes. Scientists are already preparing, monitoring viral hotspots, developing rapid vaccine platforms, tracking potential threats. But we may never be ready because the scariest viruses are the ones we don't see coming. Level 14, the viral meltdown, climate change and mutation. Now we enter a new and terrifying phase. Not a single virus, but many, all at once. Climate change is accelerating viral evolution. Warming temperatures are expanding the range of disease-carrying animals, like mosquitoes and ticks, dengue, Zika, yellow fever, malaria. Diseases once limited to the tropics are spreading to new regions. Europe, North America, high altitudes. But it gets worse. Permafrost is melting. Ice that has sealed ancient viruses for tens of thousands of years is thawing. In 2016, a child in Siberia died after being exposed to anthrax spores released by thawed reindeer carcasses. What else lies beneath the ice? We don't know, but we may find out. And as ecosystems collapse, animals are forced into closer contact with humans. That means more zoonotic spillover, more mutation, more risk. It's not just one new virus, it could be hundreds. A viral cascade, triggered by a warming planet, with no off switch. If this journey into the world of viruses left you stunned, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Because there's a lot more horror hiding in plain sight, and we're just getting started. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.